we are staying at the Crown Plaza, we've got a taxi over here, it's going to take too long, which is good. We decided to pop to Miller and Carter, absolutely starving. <laughs> Steak looks so good. In Edinburgh, we got a taxi over to our hotel. Um, it looks really nice, but we haven't checked into our room yet. We dropped our bags off, we had a spot of lunch, and we're just wandering and then going to Camera Obscura. Of... There we World go. Of Illusions. It looks good. Cool pass through. Yeah, so we're on our way. Just browsing around. It's very pretty so far. A bit cold, but it's a bit right. pretty. But it is very pretty, yeah. <laughs> We have just checked in and Brandon upgraded our room, which is really nice. It's such a nice space. It's huge, we've got coffees, teas, biscuits, got slippers, robes, got everything here. It's really nice. The room's huge. Views, lovely, really close to everything. And we're at the Crown Plaza. Super high ceilings. I'll show you the bathroom as well. Bathroom's really nice, well equipped. You've got some flannels. <laughs> The breakfast spread this morning is really good and they've got haggis. Going to Edinburgh Castle today, it's about half an hour walk from the hotel, but we've allowed an hour because there's lots of hills. No, I'm a little there's bit not, slow. There's one hill. There's loads of hills. Okay, two max. There's loads of hills. There isn't. Um, I'll show you this hill we are now approaching. A hill, not hills. It's the first hill. It actually doesn't look that much of an incline on the camera, but it really is. No, it's not. It really is. Someone actually told us earlier this clock is always three minutes fast to make sure people don't miss their trains. It's been like it since 1902.
wandered down to St James's Quarter. I was actually beating Brandon up until that last box. He was about half a mile. for a drink at the Every Man Cinema. You don't have to go to the cinema. Some lady told us while we were playing golf, which is nice. So we just had a little drink in here and decided we were going to have dinner. Can't tell what we fancy. It's nice in here. We're back. I know you've seen today, but I'll do a little recap because I don't really talk much when I'm out. I get a bit embarrassed. But we did the castle, it was really good. My favourite bit was probably the prison bit. Was it yours? That's a yes I from Brandon. It, all. it was good. It was interesting. <laughs> yeah, and when we were walking around one bit, I can't remember what it was called. But I think this is the most interesting. We both really enjoyed this. One of the ladies um, was telling us a story about one of the guys and his wife in a, in a, in a wall. Oh, yeah, I know. In like the 17th century. And his wife had just given birth. And then she decided she wanted to come back to Scotland, so she left the baby there, but he had to go to war. So it's like this model of him in war with this baby in his satchel, and both him and the baby survived. And then obviously all the baby had known was military life, so then he joined the army when he grew up, and that's was a really interesting story. She told it a lot better than I just did. And then we hung around there, we just mooched around the castle. It was nice. So yeah, we spent most of the day there, I'd say. And then we came out, we went to the shopping centre, St James's... Quarter. Quarter, St James's Quarter. And it was really busy, actually. We were trying to go for a drink in The Alchemist or something, but it was stuffed. Then we ended up um, in... We thought it was a bowl, just a bowling alley. It's called Lane 7. That's it. Yeah, um, Lane 7. But there was loads in there. We ended up playing mini golf. It was really good. And then the lady in front of us doing the mini golf told us that the Everyman Cinema which I showed you before um, had a really nice bar in it you don't have to go to the cinema but it's always really quiet because people don't know that so we ended up in there stupidly we didn't book anything this evening we didn't book dinner we didn't book anywhere to go for drinks and because Saturday night it was really really busy so definitely book if you're coming unlike us but if you're stuck the Everyman Cinema and then obviously we were a bit stuck for dinner so we ended up in this restaurant, I'll put it all on now, this restaurant for dinner, it was really nice, I had the ramen, Brandon had the katsu curry, I really enjoyed that as well, I thought it was really, really nice. Yeah. yeah. So we're going down to have a bottle of wine now, probably have a glass downstairs and bring the rest up. Um, chill morning tomorrow, we're checking out tomorrow, we're only here for a long weekend, but it's been really good. Um, and then we've got the, it. yeah I've enjoyed it. And the hotel has been really, really nice, really nice. Um, but we're not going to have breakfast tomorrow, even though breakfast this morning was really good, because we're going to Down the Hatch, which was recommended by our taxi driver on the way here yesterday. So we're going there at lunchtime, so we don't want to have a big breakfast. So yeah, chin in the morning, Down the Hatch, then we're going to the Underground Plague Place, <laughs> Mary King's Close. Um, and then we're going to go to Victoria Street, so I haven't been there yet, so it's spitting today, so then we just thought we'd go to the shopping centre. And yeah. Now we're going to head back here, grab our bags and get the plane home. was so so nice it's so sunny but that meal was so good great recommendation yeah it was really good it was quite noisy in there but really good music though really good music and we had poutine and had a burger what did you have 
it was a, like a sandwich, wasn't it? A steak yeah. sandwich. Philly steak. Is that what it's called? Something Philly like steak that, sandwich, yeah. yeah. Really good though, and it's right next to the shopping centre and the hotel we've been staying at. So, very nice, we definitely recommend. And Glad it wasn't the taxi driver. No. I don't think, anyway. And the service was really good. It was really good. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> we just did the Real Merry King's Close experience. Brand is just coming out. It was so good. We weren't allowed to film in there, which is really annoying, but it was really good. I'd recommend doing it. And our tour guide who took us around was really good. I was just saying it's annoying we can't film in there. I couldn't have filmed in there. But you see a lot, it's dark. Yeah. To be fair. It was really good though. I didn't I didn't even know, like a lady mentioned it, Mel from work, hi Mel if you're watching. <laughs> there was here, there's like a whole site well not city, but loads of streets and that under there. It's really cool. Really cool. It's like a whole little little town, isn't it? It's good yeah, but it's so it's very hilly. <laughs> yeah, it was really good though. It's gutted we can't film. There's loads of people who filmed on TikTok and stuff though, so check it out on there, but really good. We're gonna go find a coffee shop now because we've got a couple of hours to kill before we have to go to the airport. You guys might have noticed we actually collect shot glasses everywhere we go um, and we've ended up collecting boob ones. I don't know how, but we went in this shop here right by the castle and found the baby one. <laughs> yep. We couldn't find it in any other shop, could we? No. We were just having a last minute search on the way to get a coffee at the coffee shop and we found it. Okay. <laughs> We found Greyfriars Bobby, it's a really sweet story, he didn't leave his owner's grave for 14 years. We're nearly back at the hotel, so I thought I'd yeah. wrap up the video. Bye everyone. <laughs> do you want to peek and pit first? Yeah. Go on, go at peak, give us a peek. I have two so they can join together, but I've really enjoyed Edin Edinburgh Castle yeah. and what we did today. Um, Mary King's Close was really good. Yeah. And your pit? Um, there's not none with the actual trip. Hotel's been amazing, but I'd say yeah. just having to sit next to some strangers on the flight over. <laughs> Why strange was drawing me on the plane? He got his pen and paper out and his little notebook and was drawing me the whole flight. So I think I got the bigger pit here. <laughs> you told me you enjoyed it. <laughs> I found it a little bit strange. I was reading my book and he kept looking up from here underneath. A little bit strange, but nice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I finished it up. Thanks for watching. Our next trip is the big one. It's the big trip. We're going to the Caribbean. <laughs> yes. On a cruise flying to Barbados. That's next month. It's about six weeks away now. Mm. It is. Not far. Exciting. But I'll take you on the flight with us. And then after that, I'll see you in the Caribbean. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.